now, here is your host for tonight's show. Please welcome Joey Gregory. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome, you brave people. I know we're just about a couple of sleeps away from that special day coming up next week, Tuesday, when it's only minus 14. So. Oh, we can kid about that. Welcome, thanks for coming in. You are in for a very, very special treat. I do not hesitate to say at all that this is probably the most talented family in all of Canada. Yeah. True. You know, when they perform together on that stage, they bring an eclectic, pleasing, show-stopping performance that is worthy of any stage, anywhere. And they come from all over for the show. Think about this, Las Vegas, Palm Springs, Nashville, Vancouver, and that wondrous place close to our heart and home, Grunthal, Manitoba. <laughs> it still works, believe me. <laughs> Led by their proud Papa Ray, my good friend for years, that award-winning local legend, Proud Papa Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Ray St. Germain Family Show! Thank you so much for coming out and joining the family show. It's a very special, special time, you know, for us. Well, special time for me especially. <laughs> to have all my kids in and the grandkids, and uh, the three of them are here, three of the grandkids. Uh, the other three aren't old enough yet, <laughs> but I'm sure when, they're, when they are, they'll be joining the rest of us on stage. Right? Am I right? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. I'm going to sing this song. I was, I was asked to had a request, but I just wanted to go up and say uh, hi to my wife, who's going to be celebrating her 60th birthday on Christmas Day, right over here. Give her a nice round of applause. There she is, wife Glory. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So now I got to do this. I got to pull this up here. This song I wrote 
Actually, you got to give you got to give daughter Kathy a big round of applause. She organized this whole thing. She did. <laughs> yeah. All right. Crack the whip. <laughs> She's been cracking the whip uh, for the last what three days? Two days. Yeah. Even telling her dad what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I said, okay. She said, why don't you do that song? She said, I'd love you to do that song that you wrote. You know, she said, you're always writing Métis stuff. She said, you know that song that you and Paul Pidwardney wrote? Paul Pidwardney and from Poplar Field on drums over there. There he is over there. Yeah. <laughs> One night he said, he said, you're always writing these songs about the Métis, about mixed blood. He said, there's other mixes. He said, for instance, I'm Ukrainian. And if I married a Mexican girl, he said, there are our children would be Métis. I said, no, I said, it doesn't work that way. So I went home and I wrote this song. It goes like this. I met a girl down in old Mexico. I'll never forget her name. Conchita Kowalski, how did you get that name? Was your father from Poplar Field up in Canada way? Chita Kowalski, she makes the pierogies too hot. Hot, hot. You can't make pierogies in a chili pot. Hot, hot. She plays accordion, then I play the tambourine. Oh, Conchita Kowalski, I'll never forget her name. Conchita Kowalski, she doesn't like the foxtrot But that's what I did when she fed me her chili pot She does the polka but in a flamenco way Oh Conchita Kowalski, I'll never forget her name Alright, you sing it now, sing it with us, here we go singing really loud, June. There you go. Here we go. I, 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 Chikai, Chikai. Oh, you're in fine voice, aren't you, tonight? Oh, this afternoon. Right. That's right. I thought this was the second show. <laughs> Didn't we do a first show before? Well, that was rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Not that old yet. <laughs> All right, here's one we're going to feature the boys and myself. Right? And the girls. Right? Have I got this right already? Three songs in and I'm already lost. <laughs> They're gone at last, right? Okay. All right, here we go. around. 
through that <laughs> oh this is so fun I tell you I haven't had so much fun in a long long time to have I mean we've done other family shows and the whole thing and and we didn't know if we were gonna do another one because everyone lives everywhere you know and uh, well we're just so happy that we could do it this year and about you're about ready aren't you yep, yep here he is this is a, our son DJ you look pretty good tonight you got to yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do? Gonna do a little bit of a Chris Isaac. Chris beautiful, Isaac? Yeah, beautiful song. Goes like this. We got a game. Strange would 
Ah, Sun DJ. <laughs> wow, nice job. Nice job. Well, uh, everybody finished your Christmas shopping, have they? No. Well, you know my problem, of course, my wife is going to celebrate a big one, 60th, on the Christmas day as she's born. <laughs> I need some help. Yep. <laughs> of course, she gets shortchanged every year, you know what I mean. Say happy birthday and Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This year it's a little different. The kids are going to take me out shopping Monday, right? Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, Tuesday. that's the usual day I go anyway. Maybe Thursday. <laughs> we get some Boxing Day specials. Well, there you go. You don't mind, do you, honey? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a, a roll on my sweet baby's arm. This is another one of your picks. My picks. Well, yeah. That's right. I told you what to do, and that's you right. listened. <laughs> <laughs> You picked the whole show. And if you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, roll into my sweet baby's arms, right? All right, yes. Two do, I, do I have a part in this at all? You have a whole verse. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> There's no lip syncing up here. I just want to point that out. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Take that, Brittany. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I did. You know what? Um, when we rehearsed it, was that other verse in there? Nope. Was, was, was I singing too? Mm -hmm. I didn't think so. Didn't miss a beat, Daddy. Was what? What? You missed a beat? Nope. I missed a beat. Yep. Nope. <laughs> First time ever. What? <laughs> this has been great being, you know, this is a lot of fun on stage, but you should be at the rehearsals. <laughs> no, it's true. They all know what they're doing. And you know, that, for a dad, they're really proud and really peed off. <laughs> but they all know, they all know what they're doing and that, oh man. So, yeah, well, you're growing up. I mean, you're supposed to know, right? Yeah, what am I going to do? <laughs> anyway, this is a song that I, that I wrote years ago. We, we talked about Métis songs, and I'm very proud of Métis, and kids are all Métis and everybody, and, and uh, everybody should be proud of who they are. 
uh, we happen to be Métis Canadians or Canadian Métis or whatever, and you should be current, current product, Ukrainian Canadians. Canadians, just Canadians, right? <laughs> anyway, I wrote this song many, many years ago, about 40 years ago, as a matter of fact, and it's when I picked up a book about Riel, and I, and I wanted to know more about Métis. And so I picked up this book and called Hero, Trader, or Saint. And I wrote it, and it started getting plays across Canada, especially in the, uh, in the West. And uh, Ottawa brought me to Ottawa and awarded me the Aboriginal Order of Canada. For the, yeah, for writing that. Thank you. I was really pleased to get that. And then the Tommy Hunter Show producer called me, and he said, you know, Ray, he said, I've been reading uh, in the paper, in the trade papers, that this song of yours is really starting to do well. Uh, he said, we'd like you to come on the Tommy Hunter Show and do this song you wrote called The Metis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I said, sure. <laughs> Goes like this. The sound of laughter, the sound of guns. They follow the buffalo on the run No place of their own they could call home So they had to roam There came a man, a fearless man Louis Riel was his name He said, follow me and I'll win your rights But we might have to fight Not red enough, not white enough Which way should they go? German bunch you never saw riding over the plains. He said, Listen, Ottawa, watch your step, as Louis Riel is my name. Give us our lands and give us our rights, or prepare to fight. Remember Manitoba, you couldn't lick me then. You go ahead, you send a thousand men. Not red enough, not white enough. Which way should they go? The Métis! Yeah! The Kosh was a place where they did fight. They battled four days and nights. The badly outnumbered five to one. The Métis fought with all their might. Out of ammunition and shooting rushed the nails. Heartbroken cause they had failed They lost the battle but they won some rights They showed them they weren't afraid to fight Not red enough, not white enough Which way should they go? The Métis! Yeah! Real surrendered though he could have got away he said, in court I'll have my say. The government will understand why I fought again. Was all in vain, he sends him to hang. Now in Regina one day, they laid him away. Dropped through the gallows door. But his name lives on, though in a simple grave. This great man is no more. Not red enough, not white enough. Which way should they? Earlier this year, 
Where is it? A couple months ago? Yeah. A couple of months ago? During Manitowabi, the Aboriginal Choice Music Awards, Aboriginal Choice Music Awards, held at the MTS Center, uh, they honored me uh, with a Lifetime Achievement Award. And thank you. I only thought my daughter Crystal was sitting in the audience. I did, because that's who we were sitting with, my wife and I, and daughter Crystal, and her husband, of course. And... No, he wasn't there. Oh, no, it, it was... Uh... Oh, the horses got loose, she told me. And so Rob wasn't there. Yeah, that's right, but grandson Cody was there, and Eva, granddaughter Eva.